All right, guys, let's have some fun. Mark Levin absolutely lost his mind in defense of Trump. Um, he gets into a flailing jiggle rage here. Let's watch him. We'll break it down as we go. Here's the crap indictment that all the legal analysts says this is where the problem is right here. Not if we're a republic with a true rule of law. That's crap. Then we have, here's another one. Here we have the January 6th case. And I've told you before, what did he do, Mr. Smith? 1871 Klan Act. What? The Enron Act. The guy loves the Enron Act on obstruction and a financial fraud statute. Look right here. Oh, my God. Crap. Mr. Smith goes to Washington and Mr. Smith blows up the place. You know what this is? A hundred pages of bull. I could take one section out of here. Let me ask you a question. Are you allowed to challenge a campaign and open and challenge its legitimacy? According to her, no. So put Rico aside and every other charge aside. She just ch charged somebody with a felony under state law for exercising their federal First Amendment free speech right. That's part of this. Ancient Rome believed in attorney-client privilege. Modern-day America does not. Can you name one targeted victim during the Stalin regime who was indicted in four different jurisdictions? Can you name one who was facing 91 charges? Can you name one who was facing almost 1,000 years in prison? No. This is worse. Thousands of subpoenas. His kids were, were all brought in. Hundreds and hundreds of witnesses and so forth. They had nothing. All intended to sabotage his presidency. That's a police state. He's charged with crimes relating to election activity. He's charged with crimes relating to documents. He's char charged with crimes relating to non-disclosure agreements. He's charged with crimes relating to campaign activity in one state. Ladies and gentlemen, why go through the motions of justice? Just hang the guy. So he compares the U.S. to uh, Stalin's Russia. Uh, he says, you know, just hang the guy. What are we doing here? What's so amazing is that in this whole clip, I didn't see a single argument. There was no argument. It was like, look at these charges. There's a lot of charges. It must be bogus because there's a lot of them. I told you guys this before. I'm astonished by how little they have. The only argument he could muster, muster and it wasn't even an argument. It was like half an argument is uh, to free speech something. Questioning the election is free speech. And it's like, homie, I don't know how to get this through your head. If he had just done rallies and used his free speech and said, I think I won the election and it was rigged or whatever, there wouldn't have been any charges. But that's not all he did. They also did a fake elector scheme, which they referred to in their own internal emails as a fake elector scheme. They used the term fake elector, and they also used the term fraudulent elector, and they even acknowledge internally that this is an illegal scheme. It's not free speech. If he just gave rallies and said, I think I won, this is nonsense, then it, even though it's not true, and even though it's a lie, he's totally allowed to say it. It became a crime when he did the fake elector scheme and effectively tried to defraud the United States of America and do a coup and keep his own ass in office. They don't have any answers to any of these questions. And all he has is rage and yelling and screaming and shaking papers like, look, these are the charges. Yeah, that's a lot of charges. If anything, my takeaway from this is the opposite of the one you want me to have. I'm like, damn, that's a lot of pages. He must did something wrong. 91 charges? God dang, what did something wrong? If there's a conservative who can step to me and say, look, I'll go through each charge with you point by point. And I think I found a bunch of them I don't think are legitimate, and I'll explain why. But at the end of the day, yeah, I found 12 charges that are legitimate. So what am I going to do? That I would respect. That I would respect. You're trying to muster a defense. You're going through the, on the specifics and the nuance. And then you say, yeah, look, I can't get around the classified documents one. He was caught red-handed. What are you going to... Like, that I would respect. None of them are doing that. None of them are doing that. It's just anger rage, saying things like political interference, free speech, and ultimately you're left with this. It's so impotent. I'm honestly shocked that they couldn't muster a better defense than what they've done so far. And by the way, Mark Levin, just so you understand this, he's supposed to be the intellectual of the right-wing pundits. It's like him and Ben Shapiro are supposed to be the, oh yeah, very smart man, very smart man. What part of this was smart? What part of this was intelligent? You don't have an answer because you know none of this is intelligent. It's actually just like, flailing rage where there's not a coherent point to be found. Hey y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.